Hey everybody, so it's Lucas D. So I just want to talk about my Summon Raging Spirits build in patch 2.5. So as you're aware, or if you're not aware, patch 2.5 has made some changes to Summon Raging Spirits where you can only have 20 Raging Spirits at a time, which has been reduced down to from 50. Uh, so I'm just uh, doing this video to show you guys if it's still viable in patch 2.5 of Path of Exile. So if you've watched my previous videos, you would have noticed uh, the kind of builds I tend to play is totem builds uh, when I'm doing my minion characters. So this is not going to change. I am still not going to be casting the spell manually. I will be casting some enraging spirits with my totems which will be doing all the casting for me. Uh, the changes that we'll have now is we will not be doing uh, triple totems just uh, dual totems is fine uh, we can get 20 raging spirits out quite fast and we'll be using our witch character which will then be ascended into the summoner now I just finished a merciless difficulty the labyrinth and I've picked up pretty much the six skills I want so far at level 71 so at level 71 what do we have we tend to pick up mistress of sacrifice um, I'll go into this in a minute with skill duration and the flesh offering skills also affect you which is really good for this build especially when you have got your totems summoning the raging spirits you'll get pretty much every single time you cut, do the flesh offering you'll get 28 percent increased cast speed at your minions uh, and then you'll pretty much get the 28 percent movement speed as well and your minions will be uh, pretty damn fast and the totems will be casting pretty damn fast. Uh, the next thing is Spirit Eater. I don't need to really go into this too much uh, with these Ascendancy skills but uh, basically we get all these skills here for minion damage. So that, that's purely why we want to go with the Summoner and Summoning Raging Spirits totems uh, in patch 2.5. This is by far probably the best um, the best way to go if you're going to be doing some enraging spirits. Either way you look at it, whether you want to manually cast them or do it with totems. Um, so in this video it's purely going to be just showing you totems and how it goes in the dried lake, which is merciless difficulty. Of course I just want to show you guys clear speed and things like that. Uh, socketed gems, so I only have four links at the moment and I'll just show you the effectiveness you get. When you do your summoning raging spirits, uh, you have that linked with Spell Totem, Melee Splash, and Minion Damage. Okay, those are the four uh, gem slots you want. You want it in a helm that has plus two level socketed minion gems, so your summon range of spirits will always be at plus two level. Now this is only at level 17, still got heaps more to go, still got heaps of DPS I can pick up. Um, we will use the Clay Shaper, which will give our minions 6 to 16 additional physical damage, uh, which is, and also it, we can have an extra golem, so we have two, as you've noticed, my little golems here, the stone golems, we have those do running around, just uh, causing lots of trouble, which is very cool. Um, in our chest, we will have cast some damage taken, summon our stone golem, so we don't want to really manually cast much, it's a pretty lazy build, we're just going to be casting our uh, totems, and we're going to be pretty much doing the flesh offering, the enduring cry to stay alive, uh, Veil Haste. I'll get to Veil Haste in a minute. One of the best skills you can use. This build is a must with Veil Haste. It's just unbelievably overpowered for this build. So I'll get to that in a minute. I'll just finish off these links. So cast some damage taken, summon stone, golem, raise spectre, and melee physical support. You can also chuck in there raise zombie. Doesn't really matter. At the moment I'm just using raise spectre. With the boots, uh, this build will have dual curses, which is up here. So we'll get dual curses. So cast when damage taken, enfeeble, and temporal chains. Basically just for survival as we are a hardcore character. At the moment I've only got three links there. So if I had four links I could probably chuck an increased area of effect over here as well. Uh, in our shield, basically the shield is where you're going to have your auras. And you're going to have in here, I've currently got a red, red, green so you want generosity in there you don't really need the auras yourself uh, especially hatred or anger you don't need them only your minions need them so you can use generosity in here now it will be with hatred and anger some people will say to me why don't you use haste uh, 
I'll get to that in a minute, but um, haste is not used in this build whatsoever when it comes to the auras, but this is where it kicks in. Veil Haste. Veil Haste is just incredibly overpowered for this build. So it is just so superior. You cast it, it goes for at least 14 seconds. So on here, the base is normally 6 seconds. But if you look down here how long it lasts, buff lasts 14.10 seconds, basically, with this build. And I haven't even got increased uh, skill effect duration over here. I don't even know if I will get this, because it lasts so long. By the time I've finished 14 seconds later, it's already up again, ready to go. So I am constantly have my haste always up when it comes to the Veil Haste, if I'm clearing maps and things like that. You'll see in a minute how powerful Veil Haste is. As you can see there, 34% increased cast speed. 19% movement speed and 35% increased attack speed. Now, my totems get the 34% increased car speed and my minions get the 35% increased attack speed. Pretty unreal. Now, let's just cut, uh, get started here. I think I've showed pretty much all the sockets and uh, I, I was showing you Val Haste, Enduring Cry, a little bit into that. Just This is for survival. We do get Enduring Cry. Uh, we do get an extra endurance charge with the uh, bandits quest. Uh, we have about five endurance charges at the moment, so we've got endurance charges here. We'll also pick up this probably later, and we want to pick up a little bit of life over here too. So we might go down here as well, so uh, see how we go later on in the game. Currently I'm just doing the life wheel, getting extra life. We have 4,288 life at the moment. And why don't we just get started now? Enough talking, and I'll just show you guys how the build works. So it's very easy. We cast our two totems up, and then Enduring Cry comes up. We have our charges, and then there we go. So we have the movement speed and everything, and just have a look at our haste. It's ready to go, and then we just let it do all the work. So by the time you get everywhere you want to go to, things will just get pretty much taken out quicker than you can pick up pick the things up. So as you can see I've already got my vowel haste and it's all you can see over there it's always up. So when we're doing this we're just doing our flesh offering and veil haste, casting our two totems up. Now the way I have my auras going at the moment, so I've got hatred and anger going, so that would give you 50%, 100% mana reserve, so the way I can still cast spells is we pick up our aura uh, in reduced mana reserve over here. Okay. Then we just run through the whole map. Okay, I'll move, change this over here. I don't want it's like that in the first place. So we'll go in here, we'll just do the abandoned dam, this little side area. Hope we can kill this boss here pretty quickly without it killing us. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can find Vol and see how quickly we can actually take him down with this build.
Okay, so Vol's up here. So we'll just uh, cast our totems up. And should be down pretty quick. There we go. So DPS is pretty awesome still with just 20 SRSs going. We have pretty high survival rate at the moment. And I'm quite happy with the build in patch 2.5, so um, I haven't been able to get to play Path of Exile that much, so at the moment I'm pretty happy with this build how it's been. I've been just casually playing it, but I wanted to give you guys just a, a build update on how I am going with some Enraging Spirits totems, and if it's still viable in patch 2.5. So if you guys test it out yourselves, let me go, guys know what you think, and yeah, this is my build in patch 2.5. What I'll do is I'll show you the skill tree really quickly. Just how I went here. So, kind of a, just had to get around the witch area here. And I went up here and around here, over here. And then I just made my way across. When you're low level, you can still do the... Um, you can still summon the totems and use, uh, I recommend, uh, Firestorm and just summon Raging Spirits totems, just one totem, until you get the jewel, summon Raging Spirits totems. And then you can just go through the whole game like that, and you can get to end game pretty quickly. It was pretty fast for me, it didn't take too long. So I'll just check how long I've played here. Um, so 22 hours I've played with this character so far, and uh, that's where I'm at at this time being. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, give me a like or subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll try and bring out more Path of Exile videos whenever I get the chance, and I'll see you later.